Romeim, Romans 2. Therefore, you are inexcusable, O man, whosoever you are of that judge. For wherein you judge another, you condemn yourself. For you that judge do the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of Yah is according to truth against them which commit such things. And think you this, O man, hath that judge them which do such things, and do the same, that you shall escape the judgment of Yah? Or despise you the riches of his goodness, and forbearance, and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of Yah leads you to t repentance? But after your hardness and impenitent heart, treasure up unto yourself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of Yah, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that does evil, of the Yahudi first and also of the other nations. But glory, honor and peace to every man that works good, to the Yahudi first, and also to the other nations. For there is no respect of persons with Yah. For as many as have sinned without Torah shall also perish without Torah. And as many as have sinned in the Torah shall be judged by the Torah. For not the hearers of the Torah are just before Yah, but the doers of the Torah shall be justified. For when the other nations which have not the Torah do by nature the things contained in the Torah, these having not the Torah are a Torah unto themselves, which show the work of the Torah written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another in the day when Yahuwah shall judge the secrets of men by Yahusha HaMashiach, according to my Besorah. Behold, you are called a Yahudi, and rest in the Torah, and make your boast of Yahuwah, and know his will, and approve the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the Torah, and are confident that you yourself are a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes which have the form of knowledge and of the truth in the Torah. You therefore which teach another, teach you not yourself? You that preach a man should not steal, do you steal? You that say a man should not break wedlock, do you break wedlock? You that abhor idols, do you commit sacrilege? You that make your boast of the Torah, through breaking the Torah, do you dishonor Yahweh? For the name of Yahweh is blasphemed among the other nations through you, as it is written. For circumcision truly profits, if you keep the Torah. But if you be a breaker of the Torah, your circumcision is made uncircumcision. Therefore, if the uncircumcision guard the statutes of the Torah, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the Torah, judge you, who with the scripture and circumcision do transgress the Torah. For he is not a Yahudi who is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision.
which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Yahudi, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the Ruach and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of Yahweh. 